you think they would have been able to keep that out of the media for decades? Just, just remember what all has happened at Fox News in recent years and compare that to what's happening here with, uh, with Harvey Weinstein of uh, Weinstein Pictures and prior to that Miramax. It, it really, it, it, it's astounding to look at the two comparisons. It ought not be astounding because everybody that worked with him, everybody that donated, took money from him, everybody that palled around with him, what he knew. Whenever we have news reports about some executive at Fox News, sexual harassment, it's a shock and it's a stunner and we never knew and nobody had any idea and it's still not conclusive, made to walk the plank. And here Harvey Weinstein gets to apologize and promise everybody's going to double down going after the NRA as though that is going to buy him some leniency. And it will, folks. You remain loyal to the cause on the left, and they'll tolerate anything. But how transparent. I saw this yesterday afternoon, and I just started laughing out loud. Harvey Weinstein issues whatever apologies. You know, I came from the 60s. Uh, you got away with a lot more back in the 60s. Harvey, I came from the 60s, too. And I remember when the feminazis started taking over in, in the late 60s and early 70s. And so it didn't have anything to do with them. And everybody knew. That's the thing. The New York Why all of a sudden now is the New York Times breaking the seal on this? Something had to happen to cause it. But Harvey, I want to give you some advice here, buddy. I've never met Harvey. But you're playing this all wrong. Apologizing and promising to bury Wayne LaPierre and all that. That isn't what you do, Harvey. You need to get the neck brace. You learn from Ted Kennedy, you get the neck brace. Fake an auto accident or something, but get a neck brace on there as quickly as you can. And then you learn from Bill Clinton. Have a meeting with Jesse Jackson and walk around with the Torah. I mean, he's, he's Jewish, so Bible won't work. But walk around. That's how Bill Clinton did it. Meeting with Jesse Jackson. Ted Kennedy, of course, with the neck brace about a woman running for president who takes money from a serial abuser and sexual harasser like Harvey Weinstein. Everybody knew about his behavior. The women involved were all talking. People at the Weinstein company knew. Everybody knew. And in fact, um, if you have any experience reading gossip columns, particularly New York Post, page six, the stories of what a boorish man Harvey Weinstein is to death, particularly young, budding actresses, and anybody else who wants to become anything in the movie business, scared to death at smoking. He was a brute. He, he was. You know what? Harvey Weinstein is as close to the prototype that young college women are being taught about men today as anybody you could come up with in public life. That men are predators, that you know, rape stories and all these leftist publications turn out not to be true, but you know how women are being taught. Young college age women, men are brutes, men are, men are predators, men beat women, men meet, mistreat women, uh, you have to shield your own kids from the father, because the father is an uncontrolled, just barely, barely out of the cave. Harvey Weinstein comes as close to epitomizing what the body that I know, and everybody knew it. Now, what does that mean? What kinds of travel log, White House uh, log information, how many times Harvey Weinstein out of the White House. Folks, Harvey Weinstein was at the White House frequently when Bill Clinton was there, and when Obama was in tight with the Democrat Party, a major donor, a major fundraiser, he threw what I'd like to be not there, but Bill was. Man group. I'm not going to mention any names, but they're fussy. Uh, as Weinstein might have been in and out of that fussy now and then. And if people knew what else they're going to find, because everybody knew it, folks. That remains of this. Every year, all of these holier than now, social justice warriors preaching of Gloria all red. The hypocrisy here is just dripping right off your TV screen. So thick. 
So Hillary Clinton, Barack Obama, take Harvey Weinstein's money. She remained associated with him, and she knew this was going on. Of course, Hillary remained silent. Will she try to now say that the vast right-wing conspiracy was also trying to nail Harvey Weinstein along with her husband? The vast right-wing conspiracy, the donor community does, but outside them. Did Hillary betray feminism here? Betray it. Did Barack Obama betray it here? Go to the microphones and the cameras and say she didn't? No. I had no idea, just like I didn't know about Benghazi. I had no idea. Don't hold your breath. And it might become awkward for Michelle Mybell because her husband took money from Harvey, too. Should the money be returned? They all knew. And I'm thinking the outrage at Cam Newton yesterday versus everybody trying to cover their tracks. Hey, 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 yeah, it's bad, it's bad. But, you know, Harvey understands that now. And Harvey's, Harvey's on the road to rehab. Harvey, Harvey gets it, he, he, and he's working harder. That's the line coming out of the pro-Harvey camp. Cam Newton, they didn't just make this guy apologize. They made Cam Newton grovel yesterday, the Patriots and Buccaneers. N n nor did I, nor did I, but I happened to see a segment from the halftime show. Deion Sanders, who could teach these Democrats a lot about backpedaling, by the way. I mean, that's what you have to do as a cornerback. Deion Sanders and Bill Cower, the former coach of the Pittsburgh.